Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Bilal Muhammad versus Diego Lima. So looking at this one right here, Muhammad versus Lima. And looking at this one right here, and kind of ask you, but Lotion gonna be on the next video. <laughs> but yeah, so um, Bilal Muhammad versus Diego Lima. So um, really looking at this one, to get like really to the point or start off where I'm going with this one, everybody else already know where I'm going with this one. Muhammad versus um, Lima. I think striking wise, it's a lean could go either way. But I would probably say Muhammad can outstrike Lima. But can Lima outgrapple Muhammad? That's where we get the edge. I'd probably say Muhammad can outstrike and outgrapple Lima. But Lima, best chance is only in the striking. And as we've seen like Lima a couple fights, especially the usual comedy fights, fight I'm on references. Reference is that even the old over the hill Yushinokami was able to take him down and grab. I'm not saying that Yushinokami isn't a solid grappler. He's definitely a respectable grappler, but we definitely know Yushinokami is far from his best days. But an old Yushinokami was able to take him down and just grind out an easy decision over him. And we have seen in other fights people to take him down and grind out decisions over him. So when you look at um, Bilal Muhammad, he has definitely a solid wrestler and definitely has underrated wrestling and grappling skills. As we've seen in the Sato fight and we've seen in some other fights in the Millender fight and in some other fights. And even, um, I'm forgetting the guy he fought last, but even in that fight, we saw his underrated wrestling skills. So we know he definitely can take down Lima and definitely can have great success taking him down and controlling him. So that's where I'm really going to lean. I think striking can be even or lean. It only, I think it matters, but it doesn't matter too much, especially when it's that close in striking. Both technical solid fighters both made improvements in their career and, you know, trying to change around. But it's the fact that that hole in the grappling is going to be too big. And then, and, um, Muhammad being the you know fight smart fighter that he is, having that high fight IQ that he has, is going to definitely exploit that area. And I think he grinds out a decision over Lima, just mixing that wrestling in and making it a big factor into his game plan for beating Lima. So takedowns, control, and control time, beating Lima to the decision. Definitely mixing the striking, keeping that total close, and using the wrestling with the with the striking to you know open up his striking even more. But it's definitely going to come down to the wrestling. So in this fight, I got Bilal Muhammad via decision.